Hello friends, welcome to Lectio Divina Practice, featuring readings from Isaiah chapter 40, John chapter 14, and Secrets of Heaven number 36. So Lectio Divina is an ancient practice of meditative scripture reading, and so I will be reading through these passages three times, and then in between each round, you'll hear the sound of a singing bowl. And then at the end, we will read a poem. So as you are listening to these readings, I would invite you to let go of your thinking and just notice if there is a word or a phrase or an idea that is lifting itself up to you. And to just hold that in your heart and your mind and spend some time with it. So uh, with that, we'll begin. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 3 through 5 and 11. A voice of one calling, In the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. John chapter 14, verses 23 through 27. Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own, they belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Secrets of Heaven, number 36. But faith is more than the knowledge and acknowledgement of all that is encompassed in the teachings of faith. First and foremost, it is obedience to everything that faith teaches. And the primary thing faith teaches and requires our obedience to is love for the Lord and love for for our neighbor.
a voice of one calling. In the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall be level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. But faith is more than the knowledge and acknowledgement of all that is encompassed in the teachings of faith. First and foremost, it is obedience to everything that faith teaches. And the primary thing faith teaches and requires our obedience to is love for the Lord and love for our neighbour. A voice of one calling. In the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young.
Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words that you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. But faith is more than the knowledge and acknowledgement of all that is encompassed in the teachings of faith. First and foremost, it is obedience to everything that faith teaches. And the primary thing faith teaches and requires our obedience to is love for the Lord and love for our neighbour. From Rilke's Book of Hours, Love Poems to God How surely gravity's law, strong as an ocean current, takes hold of even the smallest thing and pulls it toward the heart of the world. Each thing, each stone, blossom, child, is held in place. Only we, in our arrogance, push out beyond what we each belong to, to some empty freedom. If we surrendered to Earth's intelligence, we could rise up rooted like trees. Instead, we entangle ourselves in knots of our own making and struggle lonely and confused. So, like children, we begin again to learn from the things. Because they are in God's heart, they have never left him. This is what the things can teach us. To fall, patiently to trust our heaviness. Even a bird has to do that before he can fly. Amen. And now... Take a slow, deep breath, filling your lungs with air and feeling them expand within your chest. And then exhale and open your eyes. Welcome home.